Good morning, YouTubers. So, I am in the process of improving my skills, my digital art skills. So, what I decided to do to focus on that was to um, do one digital painting a day for 30 days. And this is my digital uh, journal of that. So, I opened this video with some of my past digital artwork. Okay, so, this is the start of my... 30 days. This is day one. I was trying out fresh paint and it was pretty frustrating to be honest with you. Didn't have enough options. Uh, this is my second day and I was trying Photoshop and Photoshop just really didn't. It was also frustrating. So on the third day I decided to just go with Clip Studio Paint which I think is really intuitive and pretty simple and easy to use. And this is my granddaughter, Natalie. And I think it came out really great. It took me six and a half hours. Then I was kind of working on my shading with this rose um, using layers. Uh, multiply for shadows and light, soft light for the highlights. This is a self-portrait I did. Um, I did this in Clip Studio Paint. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, on this day was my granddaughter's birthday, so I was just playing around with Clip Studio Paint and checking out the specialty brushes they have, the stars, flowers, and that was kind of cool. So this painting I did on my Galaxy Note 4 cell phone using Corel Painter Mobile, which I really enjoy. I believe I did this painting on Corel Painter Mobile on my cell phone as well, and I really like Corel Painter Mobile and my cell phone. It's quick and easy. Uh, I think I did this one on my cell phone as well. And um, I edited it in camera 360 and that was pretty cool. This one I did using Art Rage. Um, it was a little frustrating because I was learning a new program but it came out okay. I did this on my cell phone with Corel Painter Mobile. Um, just working on using opposite colors to shade. So here again I decided to try my pink unicorn in uh, Clip Studio Paint because I wanted to see if it would be easier and of course it was. Clip Studio Paint is probably the best. So this is a picture of my husband and you know I, I it didn't come out as well as I'd liked but I did this in Clip Studio Paint. So on this day I was getting kind of burnt out but I decided to brighten up the colors in my original painting of my granddaughter and I like the way they came out. So on this day I was just um, checking out this new water brush I got and just kind of doodling and uh, that was my painting for that day. So this is a piece of old manual art that I did that I had a digital copy of and I just redid it in Clip Studio Paint. So I did this painting in Clip Studio Paint and I'm really happy with the colors. They made me happy. This is pretty much my style. I'm happy. I did this in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, I had to pick up these two leaves. These are the colors. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. So I did this in Clip Studio Paint. Um, I was working on kind of faces I guess. Then I jumped into Art Rage. I thought I would try it out there, and I like their hairbrush, but I still find Art Rage kind of frustrating and difficult to use. This I did in Clip Studio Paint. It's uh, for my daughter Julia and my granddaughter Natalie. I did this in Clip Studio Paint, and I was just kind of messing with the blender brushes and doodling around. And this is a self-portrait that I did in Clip Studio Paint, I believe, or Corel Painter Mobile. It might have been Corel Painter Mobile. I don't remember. And so here's a little Halloween-themed Clip Studio Paint again. Uh, kind of inspiration was this decoration I got for Halloween that you just saw. I did this in Clip Studio Paint, and I really like the Rose Mall style of painting, but it it's difficult to do without stroke brushes, but it came out okay. I did this in Corel Painter 2018. They It got an update, and it's not freezing all the time, and I'm really happy because I love Corel Painter the best. I did this in Corel Painter 2018. It's of my grandson Colt, and I'm happy with the way it came out. 
I did this line art for my next day's painting and I did it in Corel Painter 2018 on my Galaxy Book. So here it is painted, um, Corel Painter 2018. So I wasn't so happy with the inability to smooth out the brush stroke, so I redid it in uh, Clip Studio Paint just to see, and um, you know, a lot smoother. But I still preferred the um, one that was done in Curl Painter 2018. I guess I like the brush strokes. So um, since I gained such a big following um, on Instagram from the yoga, I did another one for my yoga fans and. Um, I think she came out cute. Clip Studio Paint. So I did this in Clip Studio Paint. It's a little ballerina. I uh, wasn't so happy with the colors. So I ran it through Pixel LR on my Galaxy Note 4 filters. And um, I think it came out cute. Okay, I'm nearing the end. Since I had the line art, I decided to try one more time. Clip Studio Paint. Um, and I gave up on the face. So this is um, Day of the Dead. And I tried to do something Day of the Dead-ish. And it came out okay, I guess. And this is the last day. Day 30 of my 30 Days of Digital Painting. Uh, Clip Studio Paint. If you've enjoyed my digital art journal, please consider following me on social media. And like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching my video.